Okay, same idea on what we're about to do. We're going to learn how to wire up our LED lights. So I've got two little LED lights. These are these nice little flat LEDs. Um, because what we've done is we're 3D printed little holders and the LED light strips will just slide right in. And we'll put them um, where they're nice and snug and tight and there's little holes on the top to help dissipate any heat but they do not get very hot at all. And then to get it back out again what you have to do is you can't pull on the wires is just pull down on the front just a little bit, lift up the light, and get your fingers underneath of there where the light is, and then once you get it, it'll slide right on out. Right. Um, and they're designed to be tight, so once you get them in, they shouldn't you shouldn't have to remove them again. And again, just make sure that you're putting them in the right direction so that the light will flow. Because there's little holes in the top of the greenhouse, and we have a little hex nut and the hex nut fastens it and this is attaches to the top of our greenhouse. Okay. We have a male barrel plug connector. It's got a positive and a negative side on it. We're going to loosen those wires up. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to connect two lights into the power core connector. So one of the important things to make sure, and we have taken these lights apart and we have put them on um, different wires and we've, and we've soldered wires onto them, but sometimes the lights come with the wires already attached. And so notice this light, it has two reds, right? Normally positive is red and black is negative. So what you want to pay attention to is it's got a little B plus and it's got a little B minus. Make sure that you connect the B pluses together and the B minuses together. So on my other light, right, this was one that we made and it has a red one for the positive, black one for the negative. So what you want to make sure that you do is connect the two B negatives together. Otherwise what will happen is neither one of your lights will come on. Uh, because the current's going to be flowing long ways through the LEDs, and that means that you have an infinite resistor. So just twist the wires together. And again, um, if you're doing this in one of our partner school sites here in the U.S., is that this comes pre-assembled for you as part of the kit. So you shouldn't have to do it, but just in case if you have something breaks and you have to take it apart, that's why we're making this little video for you. Then make sure that you put the positive side into the positive of the terminal block. Okay. So you have to insert it in and make sure that they both get in there. And so if you see them start to come loose again, just give them a little twist. And sometimes it's useful to have a little extra wire. So if you do need to do that, um, there is a couple of wire strippers that is included as a classroom set just so you can strip the wires. Students should never really have to need to be able to do this. And then we can twist them together. Okay. And now let's put it into the positive side. Okay, once it's in there nice and snug, then hold it in place and tighten the screw down. Okay. Oops, not a screwdriver came out. That one's nice and tight. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with the negative side. Okay, and get them in there. Oh, I'm going to hold it again nice and tight. And you want to tighten the screw up as tight as you can get it because you don't want your wires to come out. All right, and give each wire a tug. Okay. And it's always, I found, useful to just double check that you've got the two positives connected together and the two negatives connected together and that they are in the right negative and positive switch on our terminal block. Then what we'll do is we'll be able to use the light readings that we are getting off of our micro bit to be able to turn on and off our light via by plugging it in to a relay. So it's exactly the same as our fan, 
And this is how all of the components are wired up. And what you get in your kit is you already get this arrangement where this is already pre-wired for students. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about it. It's exactly the same thing, same way with the fan. The fans are all pre-wired. So you'll get a fan that'll look exactly the same. It's all nice and ready to go. Um, and then usually all students have to do is even put the propeller on, but sometimes that's already been done. And then you just hook it to a relay. And that's how we wire up our LED lights. And what we're going to learn next will be how to code to be able to control these devices.